Whenever I go, whenever there's a motorcycle group, oftentimes it's a Harley, and the sound of that Harley is a little different, I have to tell you. It's really good. So thank you, Harley Davidson, for building things in America. I think you're going to even expand. I know your business is now doing very well, and there's a there's a lot of spirit right now in the country that you weren't having so much in the last number of months that you have right now. You see what's happening. Uh, I'm especially honored to welcome the steel workers and the machinists to the White House. Who's a steel worker here? You're all steel workers, essentially, right? Yeah, we are. But you folks have been terrific to me. Sometimes your top people didn't support me, but the steel workers supported me, right? <laughs> a lot of your top people, they'll be losing their jobs pretty soon, I guess. But they're all coming around where uh, we're getting them. But the workers supported this big league. We want to make it easier for businesses to create more jobs and more factories in the United States. And you're a great example of it. That means we have to make America the best country on Earth to do business. And that's what we're in the process of doing. We're redoing NAFTA. We're doing a lot of our trade deals, and we're negotiating properly with countries, even countries that are allies. A lot of people taking advantage of us. A lot of countries taking advantage of us, really terribly taking advantage of us.